that and a bunch of other things. All right, before we get to your movie and everything, it's really nice to see you. I thought Annalyn and I were the best of KTLA friends, yes. but she's actually better friends with somebody else. Okay. Who's Go ahead, confess. KTLA's very own weatherman, Kai Goldberg. Hi. Hi. Hello. No, Kai. Of course. Yes, of course. Hi. That's so Carolina is my yoga and Reiki teacher and Why? so yes, I, I come over to the house oh all the time. God. I love them. Oh, that's so great. Yes. They both have fabulous posture. Do you notice I mean, that at all times? She makes sure of that. Right. Yeah. She's a stickler. Yeah. Okay. So great. And it, it, what, what makes one a good yoga or Reiki teacher? Oh, she's very patient because I am a hot mess. I'm like, wait, left foot or she's like your other left foot, honey. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, Reiki, I'm sorry for. Reiki is energy work, so oh, okay. so it's kind of opened up my spiritual practice, being able to take it to the next level. Ah. So it's kind of like the the next thing beyond yoga. Okay, very very good. Now to the scary movie that's going to freak okay. us out. Uh, of course, Anna Lynn and her movie have a. Um, interim agreement, so it's cool that she's oh, here yeah. with SAG after. Uh, on Instagram, you said initially when they were pitching the movie to you, you were like, yeah, this is lovely. I don't want to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. I have never said yes to a project quicker, and it was because I did not want to do this film at all. I, I'm the, I, that's my way. I'm okay. like, oh, why am I afraid? I won't be afraid. How dare I? <laughs> and so I, I said yes because of how important this film could be, talking about the issue of mass shootings, talking about mm -hmm. deeper topics like faith and, and when faith is blind and you don't use your own discernment, and that's kind of what this character does. She swings from blind faith in a religion to blind faith in something altogether different to get what she wants. And it's kind of like, who do we become when we're put in these situations? Wh how far will we go? And, and, and the idea initially seemed frightening to you. Oh, th well, I, you know what it was? I didn't want to do a project that could possibly feel exploitative mm. for individuals who have gone through mass shootings. All of us are, tr are triggered, for lack of a better word, by this issue, but individuals who have actually lived through it and lost. So I wanted to make sure that it was something important, but not exploitative. Okay. Uh, we uh, have a clip. Let's take a look. Watch. You? Are you feeling all right? Frank. Frank. Get Missy and Hope and get them out of here. You understand? No, what do you mean? I, um, I, uh, I, I left something for Hope in Father Kinder's office. What is it? Just, just go, go, take, take, take them there, okay? You, you look possessed. Mm. She, in a way, she was. Don't give away the end, okay. honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a, there's an element to that, but I think you know, I, I talk so much about mental health, and and this is another reason that I care about this topic because the political conversation is is so polarized. What we really need to, the real conversation is mental health. It's actually the only conversation because happy people don't hurt people and they certainly don't take guns into churches and establishments and shoot their fellow human beings. So this young woman has just had one thing after another hit her. Like when it rains, it pours and her mental health is destroyed and completely deteriorates through the film. And you see that and then something takes over. And, and that's when that's a, everything plays in flashback in the film itself. So the first scene is kind of the end of the story beginning. And, and so there's like, it's all kind of cut, cut around like that. This is not a quick, an easy question to answer in a relatively brief TV interview. When you or other mental health advocates talk about mental health, what, what are we advocating? I think the first the first thing is having a conversation around it. No one needs anyone to convince them you break your leg, you go to the doctor, right? Mm -hmm. We have had so much stigmatization and the conversation around this is in, is important because it allows people to actually go and ask for help. That's the number one thing. That, I, 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 you know what, you said it in such a bright and succinct way because, that, because I, I think a lot of times when people say, oh, they're a mental health advocate or they're this kind of thing, but that's it. And, it's also a nice title, but right. I actually care because I've lived this, sure. you know. And we do have rhetoric. We do have signaling, virtue signaling and whatever. I personally have, have been in my bathtub and not wanting to live and attempted to not be here anymore. Mm -hmm. And now I wake up grateful for my life. So I know that when someone said, hey, this is, this is the struggle I'm having, mm -hmm. I felt more seen. So the conversation is actually a big mm -hmm. part of it. And, and from that bathtub till, till today, <clears throat> Was that in part a result of mental health professionals helping you? 
Yes, sir, absolutely. And, and work like Carolina, working, doing all these different modalities. So from PTSD treatment, EMDR, which is a really powerful modality, but then doing Reiki, yoga, breath work. I, I've tried everything. Right. I mean, if you need a list, I can email okay. you one. <laughs> but did you, I, and I, this is very personal, but do you suppose for different people uh, and, and different circumstances, different things work? Different things work all things work nothing work it's it yeah. is your own individual journey i've i've done all of it i've ticked every box from psychiatric to to you know therapy and then obviously alternative op and plant medicine everything so find your path but find the path mm -hmm. because we can't do that if we don't realize there's a problem to begin with and that's what advocacy helps us realize within ourselves i didn't know my i didn't know that i had anything wrong with me and i was struggling every single day well, wow. very well said. This was yeah. a lot more than a movie conversation. But, we'll yeah. tell, but you know what? We'll tell you about the movie. Here we go. Uh, Condition of Return comes out September 20, 22nd. It'll be able to stream starting October the 23rd. Ellen McCourt.